the first member in Overpowered, the first guild hall that I purchased, the fleet ship. I'm Erica Bud here, and today I'm going to be showing you some of the strongest items ever released in the game of Arcane Legends. Mind you that I'm not going to be talking about any pets or any items that are class specific. I'm only talking about items that anyone could obtain and use. First on our list, we have the Arcane Ring. Now this ring has been around for seasons and it has even been nerfed and this is due to the fact that it is just still undeniably the strongest ring in the game I bought my first and several arcane rings for upwards of 40 million gold and now they are around 1 million gold each that's a big difference from the past but it still makes it on the top powerful items list. Next up we have the Enchanted Eye of Cyrilix. Now this item was released in the 2014 winter event after completing a platinum tier and it also dropped from the Dragon Cyrilix and there were many in circulation around that time in 2014 and the price of the of the eye were was somewhere around a hundred thousand gold if I'm remembering correctly but over time this eye went upwards to around nine million gold each and I don't even see them in auction anymore it is now unsocketable you cannot even use the eye in equipment that is above level 46 up next we have the parasol stone this item was released in the 2014 Halloween event and man it was when it was first released it was released with seven plus seven damage which is a lot of damage now it gives you about two two damage and that's a big difference and even so it still makes its way into the top powerful items I've seen them sold for around six million gold each and they are untradeable so the only way to sell them is to socket them into a piece of, note of equipment that the buyer would want it in and trust him to buy the equipment for you after you use your para in that item and I have an honorable mention for you guys today the ancient planner pendant uh, which I myself crafted uh, when it was more popular but pretty much it's still the best pendant in the game unless you're not really worried about health that much you can have some pretty good amulets or necklaces but just with less health and basically you have to do a very long quest it took me about a month to kill all the bosses and do a long quest that it takes to even craft this necklace but the thing is once you craft it it is untradeable I wouldn't recommend crafting it at this point but then again I wouldn't recommend not crafting it that's all for the list guys I hope you guys enjoyed it be sure to like this video down below comment down below subscribe stay tuned and as always see you next time